I'm Jessica Devine, and today I want to talk to you about binders. So what are they, the different options, and why so many Lyme patients and Lyme doctors use them in Lyme treatments? See my detox video on more suggestions to help you on that. So taking toxin binders help your body in reducing toxin levels. They are called binders because they do just that. They bind to and eliminate toxins from your body. Now our body has the ability to remove some toxins, but when the toxin load gets too high, your body needs help, especially if you have Lyme and co-infections. Binders are incredibly beneficial for detox. I haven't seen one protocol that doesn't include them in some way. So if you are treating and don't know what a binder is, then please listen closely because they make a world of difference. One of my best friends, Christina, my partner in crime in Rise Above, always says it seems like everyone, every time someone posts about tons of pain, they often aren't taking binders or detoxing enough. She is right, toxins are painful. I personally take three to four different types of binders together twice a day, every day. I have done this since the beginning and still do. Some people are surprised by this, but my Lyme doctor has always had me do this and it works for me. I continue to heal and function, so I say the proof is in the pudding. One detox pitfall is dehydration. Many of us are chronically dehydrated, especially if you have POTS. But the issue is emphasized during detox because Without enough fluid in our bodies to flush out the toxins, we suffer more. So inadequate hydration during detox puts us in a bad place where toxins may have been pulled out of organs, but they're not flushed out of the body entirely. So drink, drink, drink. Don't forget that regular exercise, because, because this actually improves our circulation. It doesn't have to be much, but we have to move some. That plus oxygenation are critical steps in a successful detox program. We must move so that the toxins move out of our tissues and organs. Again, please watch my short detox video. So binders can bind to nutrients, so they should be taken away from food and supplements or medication by at least one hour. My doctor always says two hours before or after, especially with activated charcoal. And I believe that is a better approach. Binders can cause constipation, so please make sure to take them with plenty of water and you can even add magnesium citrate alongside the binders to help with that. My doctor taught me that trick. I will start with what I've used, use or believe in the most. I hear them the most amongst other Lyme patients too. I will include knowledge I have on other binders, but I won't dive in too heavily on those to keep this video short and focused. So let's start with the most basic binder that you hear about, activated charcoal. Now activated charcoal can be sourced from a few different things. I like coconut shell charcoal myself. Activated charcoal is a broad uh, spectrum, spectrum binder that will bind a little bit of everything. It's very important to space this one and limit its use. It is used, in, it is used a ton because uh, it works <laughs> and I needed it a lot. It is very effective at removing most toxins generated from a die off or Herx reaction when you're treating Lyme. It helps with mycotoxins too, but remember it will grab anything, bad or good, including nutrients. It is best used in acute poisoning or chronic die-off situation. It is not meant to be used every day for years. Think small amounts as part of a blend for a short time. 
It is amazing when you need it. It calmed my very first horrible herx. Okay, chlorella. Chlorella is a blue-green algae that's rich in vitamins, minerals, iron, and amino acids. One of chlorella's most significant health benefits is that it attaches to heavy metal toxins in our bodies. But because chlorella is actually a living organism, it binds only to toxic substances, not essential minerals. For this reason, it can be used long-term with no risk of nutritional deficiency over time. It has been shown that chlorella, uh, chlorella benefits the entire body by supporting healthy hormone function, cardiovascular health, and even lowering blood pressure and cholesterol. I love chlorella and I've used it forever. I use broken or cracked wall chlorella to get all the benefits. Some say pulverized chl chlorella has higher digestibility, but I haven't used that, nor have I studied it. Modified citru citrus pectin. I use a brand called Pectisol C. So modified citrus pectin is manufactured from the inner white pulp of a citrus fruit peels. Pectisol C is backed by 65, over 65 published papers showing unparalleled benefits in key areas of health. It is a powder fiber that mops up biotoxins in the gut from mold, Lyme, and co-infections, as, well, as well as it mildly binds to metals. I used a ton of it when removing metal from my mouth and when I removed root canals, but I also use it as my everyday binder. I love it. It works great with other binders as well. Aside from its benefits for detox, it also supports immune, the immune system and it has anti-inflammatory effects, anti-tumor, and has prebiotic effects promoting the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. It also calms oxidative stress throughout your body. It does not bind to nutrients or minerals making it safe to consume long-term and in conjunction with meals. I use it with other binders as instructed. I love this stuff. I, maybe my favorite. Uh, chlorella is like one of my other favorites too, so it's hard to decide. Then there's yucca root. Now, I mentioned this one because it helped me so much with detoxing ammonia off the brain, which is so common in Lyme. Ammonia is a big deal and I could even smell it. Uh, I would walk around the house trying to figure out its source, but the source was from my face. It, this has uh, Yucca root has remained a part of my binder protocol for a long time. It helped my head symptoms too. Uh, it totally works for me, but ammonia requires uh, a whole video. So that, that's all I'm gonna say on that one for now. Please also research zeolite and benzenite clay as they are used often, but I used them a short time and I want to keep this video short, but I want to at least mention a little bit about them. Benzenite clay binds with toxins electrically. When clay touches any type of fluid, it actually takes on a different charge, causing it to bind to substances that have a different charge. By doing this, uh, the clay is actually able to remove toxins, chemicals, impurities, and heavy metals from the gut, skin, and even mouth. Now, zeolite clay works by trapping a wide variety of toxins by encapsulating them and taking them out of your body. It helps draw them out and removes any toxin with a positive char ionic charge, such as heavy metals and pesticides. Zeolite has a strong negative charge and thus is attracted to positively charged molecules. Since most of the things that don't belong in our bodies are positively charged, zeolite can be very effective detox method for a number of toxic elements that are draining our health. Now remember, there are tons of great binders and I can't do them all in a short video. But I did focus on the ones I am confident and knowledgeable in. What helps me may not help you, so please always ask your doctor on anything I discuss in any of my videos. I personally use three binders together at the same time twice a day. 
I take pect Pectisol C, I take three of those, Chlorella, six of those, and then I take two to four yucca root. If I'm herxing bad, I also throw in activated charcoal as advised by my doctor, usually two of those. He said I can even add in fiber to this if I get constipated and even magnesium citrate. For fiber, my favorite's probably rice fiber, but I also use others like glucomannan and blue heron, colon max in the evening sometimes. That would take another video. <laughs> the stuff I actually use, believe in, and buy is in the box below. You don't have to buy it there, but I get asked a million times, so this makes it easier uh, for me and you don't have to go searching for it. Now you'll know what the bottle looks like. I hope this video helps you. Please like this video and subscribe so you get alerted when I do my next subject. See the subscribe button? Push it. Thanks for listening.